Hey guys, and welcome to the Working Money Channel. So Bitcoin whales have bought over 50,000 Bitcoin in the last 10 days. That is worth over $3.15 billion, guys. It's coming from Ali Charts. So as the price has been coming down, we are seeing Bitcoin whales accumulating more Bitcoin at this point in time. Uh, you know, since this post was posted uh, late yesterday afternoon, Bitcoin has moved down even further and uh, there could be some reasons for this. And I kept these drawings here on the chart that I was talking about yesterday. Even if we did come back down in and around here and check that out, I was talking about this same level. And so, uh, you know, even if we did go up and then down a little bit more, uh, ultimately, I think we will find ourselves making a higher low before we move to the upside. So, uh, you know, I'm not too worried about this. So that was from yesterday and I was uh, zoomed in a little more on the chart, but you guys can see here we are now coming back into that zone. What I was looking at yesterday was uh, just the price. I was not actually looking at support and resistance levels, but uh, guys, in the past, we have seen Bitcoin come back down, rebound here in and around 61,200. And so that is uh, now exactly what it's doing here. So this is the Bitcoin chart uh, on the hourly. And you guys can see we did see that big move down for Bitcoin getting very, very close to $60,000 on the nose, that psychological level coming back up. And now we're just kind of rebounding here in and around 61,200. So uh, this likely going to form what I'm guessing is a double bottom pattern. Hopefully we move up soon. I mean, it is getting very close. You guys can see sentiment in the space is back in fear territory. Boy, that happened fast. 39 in fear. It was, uh, you know, just last week we were up as high as 58. Uh, you guys can see 24 hour prices have declined. Bitcoin is down 4.19%. Ethereum's down 6.9%. Uh, we've got BNB coin that is down 5.49%. Solana is also down 7%, over 7%. XRP is down 6%. So, uh, you know, the entire crypto market is down right now. Uh, most of the altcoins are taking the brunt of that. You guys can see up here Bitcoin dominance has uh, crept up as a result, 56.3%. We were under 56 yesterday. 24-hour uh, volume is up to 52.5%. Market cap has gone down a little bit. And, uh, you know, some are saying sociopolitical events are causing this crash. But guys, we got some really good news yesterday for XRP holders. The XRP community has been called conspiracy theorists, cultish, and stupid riddlers, etc. This coming from Crypto Insight UK. Some of these are probably true. However, it doesn't help things that the day bank stocks fall heavily and WW3 potentially starts. We get an XRP ETF filed. There's fuel for conspiracy. So guys, that was the big news yesterday. An XRP ETF has now been filed and we're going to talk about that today. Going to give you guys uh, some thoughts on that. But first I wanted to start off with the macro picture because uh, you know, there, there have been some people that have been suggesting that isn't it convenient that this XRP ETF news is being buried in and amongst all this other stuff that's going on. Uh, James Clapton here saying, you know, the whole world's a stage theory is holding up. Crypto Insight UK saying it is, to be honest. James Clapton responding down in here, add in that gold didn't budge when nearly 200 missiles were in the air means that people already knew what was happening before it happened. So guys, uh, what we are seeing is um, what what somebody else did notice too is that people are, uh, and this could be, this is actually the reason why we're seeing Bitcoin going down. They are selling off their Bitcoin to put into gold because they're thinking that, uh, you know, as an investor, it's a good hedge in times of war, I guess. Uh, so a few other people commenting on this, XRP and HBAR European here saying, coming to the conclusion, the case has more to do with Ripple than XRP and XRP is being held back. Price manipulation. No good news works on it. Very odd. Maybe the RLUSD going live might let XRP free. I think ultimately, guys, when we see XRP at scale, that is when we're going to see the majority of price appreciation that. And we're also very, very close to blast off when it comes to crypto markets in general. So the euphoria phase is just around the corner. We are now entering quarter four of 2024. Uh, William Chizou here saying, I like the name globalist and capitalist 100% better because I believe XRP is a globalization tool and uh, it's going to change the economy and social changes uh, at an unbelievable scale. So yeah, over time, that is what's going to happen. 
We do have to be patient. Uh, but it is interesting that, you know, we get this news here and it is getting buried by what is happening now. To my point here, just going back to Bitcoin, Bitcoin tanks and gold rebounds as Israel vows Iran will pay for this attack. The Bitcoin price fell about $4,000 after Iran fired some 180 ballistic missiles at Israel, escalating the conflict in the Middle East. So, um, you know, as I was saying here, selling Bitcoin as gold is gaining. Commodities, including gold and crude oil, rose as a specter of war looms in the Middle East. Still, Bitcoin is moving in the opposite direction, leading to renewed debate over whether it's a safe haven asset. Gold prices gained 1.4% on the day to reach $2,665 per ounce on October the 1st, just shy of its all-time high, according to goldprice.org. Uh, meanwhile, crude oil prices spiked as much as 7% to reach $72 per barrel. So you can see these types of commodities are gaining. Uh, bonds in the United States dollar also climbed following a major missile strike uh, by Iran, targeting sites across Israel on late October the 1st. Israel's air defenses shot down most of the 180 incoming missiles, according to reports. And guys, uh, here is a uh, here's a quote here. The escalating conflict in the Middle East has prompted investors to seek security in gold, bolstering its appeal amidst broader market uncertainty. So selling Bitcoin for gold, likely this is what uh, we are seeing here. Uh, and it's just been taking the rest of the crypto market down with it, like XRP. We were hoping that we would see maybe a, a bit of a rebound here. But again, you know, as the market continues to crash, we do see other assets crashing along with it. So XRP now uh, coming back down into this base down in here at 58, uh, just over 58 and a half cents. But that's not to say that we shouldn't be excited about what is coming down the pike. Uh, so this was just announced, guys. Eleanor Turret did post this yesterday, a PSA for those that need to hear it. No, I did not post about the fake BlackRock XRP ETF filing last November because I was out of work that whole month with no access to Twitter. However, my sources on the Bitwise Invest one are absolutely credible. And so Eleanor Turret posting this, this is the scoop. Crypto Asset Manager Bitwise has filed in the state of Delaware for an XRP ETF. There you guys can see it there and they just filed on uh, September 30th, 2024. So uh, two days ago now, uh, but we're just getting this news now. So Bitwise is filing an XRP ETF trust registration in Delaware. Boy, how things are changing very fast. A Bitwise spokesperson confirmed that the asset manager has registered an XRP exchange traded fund trust entity that appeared on Delaware's Division of Corporations website. According to the filing, the Bitwise XRP ETF was registered on September the 30th. The registered agent was listed as uh, CSC Delaware Trust Company, headquartered in Wilmington, Delaware. The Delaware registration does not necessarily mean an application with the United States Security and Exchange Commission is imminent. A formal SEC filing could take months. So guys, this is not uh, imminent. It's not like it's going to be launched tomorrow. The registration comes just months after uh, Ripple's uh, CEO hinted about such a financial product, describing an XRP ETF as inevitable following the US launch of the Bitcoin and Ethereum ETFs. So you guys probably remember Brad saying that the approval of an XRP ETF would allow institutional investors exposure to cryptocurrency through a regulated investment vehicle, potentially boosting liquidity and token adoption. So um, they're probably timing this with what I'm assuming is going to be um, the uh, probably going to be the euphoria phase during this bull run. Uh, I mean, this is what we're hoping. This is what's most logical. If I were to take the uh, the total market cap here, uh, this is so this is just the total crypto market cap. And as you guys can see, we are still uh, just trying to get out of this now. But ultimately, guys, when we're going to see that real euphoria, that is going to be the end of quarter four. Okay, so hopefully we start to see more highs here. And uh, I, I wouldn't doubt that uh, we we could get back up to all-time high. Um, I don't know, December? Does that sound reasonable? And then finally, uh, throughout 2025, we're going to see the bulls really rally. So um, I don't know. Uh, how, I don't know how long this kind of thing generally takes, and it was just filed, so uh, it probably is still going to take some time. That hasn't stopped the XRP community from getting very excited, though, on this proposed XRP ETF. Chad Steingraber here posting this. Bitwise spokesperson is confirming that the XRP ETF filings are real. So yes, you can see it there. Bitwise XRP ETF. Uh, code number uh, 5326147, and that is uh, published by Cointelegraph here. This is the uh, the entity name, the file number on the left-hand side, and uh, you can see it down there, the XRP ETF 
is coming to Bitwise. And so it begins, says Educating Donna. Vincent down here saying, timing is strange, this close to an appeal window closing uh, and the stablecoin launch. Yet we all know Gary is still lurking in the background. I don't get what the play is here exactly. Uh, Ricky Crypto saying, you know, Bitwise throwing their hat in the XRP ring. Things are heating up. And yeah, I mean, I got to go back to this. You know, I did a video on this uh, a few weeks ago, probably about, probably a couple of months ago now. Anders here uh, bringing this back up, and I think it was Anders who was the original uh, the the original observer of this uh, of this actual point that uh, I'm going to make again. Hmm, a lot to unpack in this tweet. As we know, Bitwise recently filed an XRP ETF, which is confirmed legit. Thing is, a representative from Bitwise will be at Ripple Swell event discussing ETFs. And so in that video, I remember on the thumbnail, I did have this photo of Eric Balchunas. Uh, I, it was basically that exact thing. The fact that, you know, there are hints now uh, based on uh, what, Swell, what they are deciding to do at Swell. There were hints that, uh, you know, an XRP ETF was probably going to be announced or something uh, was going to be happening surrounding that point. So it gets more interesting here. Bloomberg is the official media partner for this Ripple Swell event in Miami. The guy from Bloomberg is Eric Balchunas, and he's an ETF analyst. So that was the thing that uh, Anders did bring up in that video. The Ripple Swell was announced, uh, or was announced, Brad Garling has mentioned Bloomberg as a media partner in the tweet. Now Eric Balchunas confirmed that the Bitwise ETF that was just filed is legit. Hmm, interesting things going on. Why didn't Bitwise just wait a few days to see whether the SEC will appeal or not? So that's an interesting uh, point here that Anders does make. And uh, you guys can see Hunter Horsley is the chief executive officer at Bitwise Asset Management. And uh, sure enough, there you guys have it, a Bitwise XRP ETF. This is a tweet from October the 1st from yesterday. Eric Balchunas did say, unlike that situation, I still can't believe someone did that. Uh, I wonder if they ever got busted. The Bitwise name registration is legit. We have, have confirmed it with them. Uh, so he was referring to that bogus BlackRock uh, XRP ETF that was announced uh, a few months ago back in November. So guys, uh, it is true. Ripple does stack their swell events with uh, individuals. All you have to do is just look at the swell event and uh, kind of, you can probably guess where things are going to be going in terms of the news. Smoke here pointing this out. Okay, Matt Hoogan, who is the CEO of Bitwise, he warned months ago uh, that more ETFs were on the way for the crypto market. There's some big money coming. <laughs> That's right. Yes. Yeah. I think people need to keep their eyes on Q3 and Q4 as it regards these ETFs, right? We saw the Bitcoin ETF explode out of the gate in January. We saw flows slow down a little bit in Q2, although they're still coming in. We saw the Ethereum ETF launch. But I think the big story in the second half of the year is we're going to see flows re-accelerate. And the reason for that is I expect the major wirehouses, Morgan Stanley, Wells Fargo, UBS, Merrill Lynch to all come online in late Q3 or early Q4. And that's going to unlock trillions of dollars of assets that are going to come uh, running into this space. I think it's going to be a big deal. So late Q3, early Q4 yesterday, September the 30th, uh, as Smoke did put here, marked the first day of Q4 and Hoogan's prediction is unfolding right on schedule. He has forecast that following the success of the Bitcoin ETFs, more ETFs would emerge, unlocking trillions of dollars to flow into the crypto space. Hoogan even provided a timeline pointing to the end of quarter three of 2024 and into quarter four of 2024 as the key period to watch for new ETF filings. And sure enough, guys, here we are. With Bitwise filing for an XRP ETF on the first day, the very first day of quarter four, his prediction proved even more accurate than initially suggested. He clearly knew his company would lead the charge on the XRP ETF. This is going to be a big deal. And you can hear it in uh, in Hoogan's voice here. Very excited to be the company to be launching that. The Bitwise XRP ETF filing does make perfect sense. First institutions have noted uh, that the Grayscale XRP Trust laid the groundwork for the eventual XRP ETF. So from this report, you guys can see that in here. Uh, it could pave the way for an XRP ETF. While trusts are restricted to accredited investors and hence face lighter regulatory scrutiny, giving the XRP Trust special significance, just giving us some, uh, some groundwork here, some statements that were made in the past. Monica Long is particularly optimistic about the potential for an XRP exchange traded fund, apparently. She cites several positive factors, including regulatory clarity from the U.S. government making XRP and Bitcoin the only crypto assets with such distinction. This clarity could pave the way for issuers to file for an XRP ETF, offering investors a new avenue to gain exposure to XRP. So that's the other thing, you know, with Ripple employees getting excited about the XRP ETF, that certainly should say something because, uh, you know, the Ripple team, they've been 
focused on promoting XRP as a coin that uh, will have value once it is used in a real world setting. And guys, how are we going to get it used in a real world setting? Well, it needs to be trading with a lot of volume. It needs to be very, very liquid in the crypto space. And guys, how do we get that to happen? Well, it needs to be traded on the open market first. And, uh, you know, eventually we are going to see that once the euphoria phase of this crypto cycle does kick in. And uh, I, I truly believe that a lot of these uh, institutional advancements, uh, you know, when it comes to an XRP ETF, for example, or, uh, you know, launching an IPO, that's just another example that uh, kind of ties into my theory here. The, the 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 space has to be excited in order for these things to really succeed. So, you know, for, for them to say this now, it does make a lot of sense if they are planning real world utility by the end of 2025. It would also, uh, you know, push towards that factor, too. For more information on what I'm doing, guys, by the way, this bull run, you can follow me at patreon.com slash working money channel. I'm sure you guys already know by now it is only five dollars a month and I'm basically just outlining my trading journey. So if you want to see what I'm doing from front to back, patreon.com slash working money channel with regards to this XRP ETF, Black Swan Capitalist gave his perspective. So he actually doesn't think it's uh, that great of a thing. It undermines the original purpose of XRP as a bridge currency for global transactions. Um, he says, instead of highlighting its utility in real world applications, an ETF would only promote additional speculation and invite more market manipulation by larger institutions, much like we've witnessed in traditional markets. So he's saying it's not necessarily the greatest thing. All this excitement and viewpoint circulating in the crypto space, uh, which I don't affiliate myself with, is both disturbing and misguided. An ETF would dilute XRP's value in the short term and distract people from its true potential to replace the dollar's reserve status uh, and effectively address cross-border payments acting as a genuine store of value within a liquidity settlement framework. In my professional opinion, the XRP community should be focusing on utilizing XRP for genuine financial solutions that can drive real impact and real change in our failing monetary system. Treating it as a speculative asset for short-term games is uh, short-term games. Ugh, excuse me, short-term gains is short-sighted and misguided, especially while people continuing uh, to get wiped out by inflation, while people are continuing to get wiped out by inflation. As I pointed out, very few truly understand its purpose. It's becoming clear that many in the space are cashing in on easy money to produce cheap articles, uh, all without comprehending how XRP is actually being integrated into the new monetary system. So just another opinion here. Could it be used? Uh, can it be manipulated? Will the price of XRP then uh, be manipulated based on this ETF? I mean, not like the crypto sector hasn't been manipulated already. I mean, you know, I, I can I can say time and time again, you know, the, these prices there, it's, we're basically trading in a speculative market. The difference though, between what, uh, what Black Swan Capitalist here is saying is that the, the, uh, the spec market would be controlled by the elites. And so that's probably not what we want. Um, but guys, if we've been buying XRP at such a cheap price and they aren't even in the market yet, uh, I'm guessing that the manipulation is going to start happening once the price of XRP really starts to explode. So uh, that's just what I think. I uh, wanted to thank, though, uh, Smoke, Black Swan Capitalist, of course, Anders, Chad Steingraber, Eleanor Turd, of course, uh, and Crypto Insight UK for posting that. Now, Chad also bringing this up, guys. Something that I found interesting, too, it's not rocket science to realize Bitwise was going to create an individual XRP ETF eventually. They already hold it, and they recently bought the ETC Group, which already has an existing live XRP product. So I don't know if you guys remember this. This was from back uh, just in August. The acquisition of ETC Group's $1 billion in assets under management takes Bitwise's AUM above $4.5 billion. So uh, Bitwise did acquire the London-based ETP provider ETC Group to enter Europe. And guys, remember this, the ETC Group Physical XRP, the GXRP. Yeah, this is available in Europe. Looking to buy XRP through your regular securities broker or bank. ETC Group makes that possible. This XRP exchange traded product, ETP, is 100% physically backed, giving you seamless and pure exposure to the performance of the XRP token of the Ripple Network while trading on Europe's largest stock exchanges. So guys, this was already in the works. And uh, back last month, Bitwise did acquire that group. Now we've got confirmation that Bitwise is launching the XRP ETF. But guys, there's more cowboy crypto here pointing this out, just so everybody knows. Electric Capital is an early investor in Bitwise too. The same Electric Capital where Jay Clayton is an advisor. Things are coming full circle and also things that make me go, hmm...
Right. <laughs> I'm sure you guys are probably figuring out the same. Electric Capital is one of the largest crypto venture capital firms and an early investor in many leading crypto protocols and companies such as Bitwise, Bitnominal, and Kraken. And yes, guys, look who's one of their advisors from Electric Capital, Jay Clayton. He's part of the Electric Advisor Network. He advises founders through the regulatory landscape. Jay was the 32nd chairman of the SEC. He worked with the CFTC, the Treasury Department, and the Federal Reserve to address classification regulation of digital assets. And through this string of connections, we can now see that he is connected to a regulated, fully regulated XRP ETF. No, I'm not making this stuff up, but that's just my opinion. I want to hear what you guys think. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like the video if you like the content I'm providing. I always love hearing your comments. See you in the next one, guys.